Tori, it sure looked like your pitcher was in complete control tonight. What do you think? Well, it was a great effort by Patrick. It's his second one on the road, and I know he's given us eight, eight innings, a couple of occasions, and um, you know, he gave us everything he could. Uh, one run, six strikeouts, uh, and walked off the mound in, in, a, in a really good way, and, and uh, deserves a lot of credit. How, uh, how important was it to see you guys string some innings together? It's been the hallmark of this team for so long. Yeah, a little bit more what we're used to. I think we scored in four of the first five innings. Uh, the big three-run home run by J.D. obviously got us kick-started. Patrick took it over from there. And then there was some timely hitting that was built inside of that. Uh, and that, that's kind of what we, we got used to for so long. And then you know, I don't want to miss some key defensive plays, too. Adam Rosales made some really nice plays down at third base. Just a really nice team effort. Paul Goldschmidt was asleep for a little bit, but not tonight, right? <laughs> you know, Goldie is Goldie. He's 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 a special guy, and uh, a couple big hits, big moments, and you know, I, I I couldn't think of anybody better to have up there in those crucial moments. But um, it's just a good team win. Something uh, things got a little dicey there, and late in, late in the game, and you know, Fernando steps on it and gets his, gets a save and, and did what he had to do. I think it's it's a it's fastball command. He's able to get that pitch uh, on both sides of the plate, uh, and then spotting up spotting up his breaking ball. Um, and it's it could be swing and miss. It could be strike the ball and strike to strike. He's got a really good feel for that pitch. It's very sharp. And uh, a number of times tonight he threw it in two zero counts, and it's just a very effective pitch that he's, he's feeling a lot of confidence in. Chris Iannetta in the two hole tonight. How effective was he? <laughs> Well, I mean, he had a couple really nice at bats, a couple of doubles. I think uh, off the top of my head, he had a couple of hits. Um, it's just a very uh, grinding at bat. He's patient. He uh, he sets it up for, for for the core part of the lineup uh, in a lot of different ways. So we ask a lot of Chris Ionetta. We've hit him all over the lineup, um, and he's always ready for any challenge. Did he talk about run a little on that darn I think. Um, I think there was a backswing, and he was just waiting for an interference call. And he, he was anticipating that the umpire would say that he's automatically out because if the, the umpire determines that there's some sort of interference or obstruction, that he can he can say you don't have to throw the ball. So I think he was waiting for the call. So he just tried to quiet some things down. Um, he didn't. I don't. You have to ask him. I don't know exactly how he felt. He said he felt good. Just talked to him on the field. He echoed some of the things you talked about earlier today in the absence of Jeff Mathis. And he said, look, I, I talked to him between innings every game, no matter what. That's going to continue. I'm, I'm guessing you're pleased to hear that. Yeah, I mean, they've built a really good relationship. And it's a credit to those veteran players that come together the way that they have and, and lead the pitching staff. And they've, you know, they've brought along Chris Herman, too. And it's, uh, it's been fun for me to watch um, the evolution of, of what they've done. It's kind of there were some new thoughts that we, we've asked them. Um, to grasp some new concepts, and, and they've done a great job. So, the conversation, the friendship, the bonding, um, the care—that's what—that's what—that's what's most important to me. You mentioned JD somewhere that he, he's kind of given you pretty much what you what you were hoping for when you got him, right? Yeah. Uh, power bat in the middle. You know, he sits right in back of Goldie, and uh, there's moments where they might pitch around Goldie, and 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 he's the type of hitter that's going to make somebody pay for a mistake, and. He's got uh, a number of opportunities where he's driven balls out of the ballpark and, and gotten us some quick, some quick points. So, yeah, he's been everything and then some that we'd hope for.